Hello, welcome to the Television and Video Lab. I'm your host, Jennifer Fowley. You might recognize me as the host of the hit television series, Exposed, and Exposed Season 2. I was in your shoes just a few years ago, and look how far I've come since I've taken these production courses. But seriously, the purpose of these production courses here at Cal State is to prepare you for the fast-paced world of the television industry. Join me as I introduce you to Cal State's television studio in the basement of University Hall, or as we like to say down here, the lower level. Let's begin with the house rules. Please enter and exit through the lab door marked TV Lab and Studio Main Entrance. There is absolutely no food or drink allowed anywhere in the lab. Our staff has been instructed to properly dispose of any food or drinks that are brought into the lab. There is no smoking near the lab or the lab equipment. This is not an open lab. All usage beyond normal lab hours must be scheduled with the lab staff in advance. Certain times during the quarter, the lab may be open later than usual. These extended hours are based solely on student assistant availability. All I need is a lot of cash. No one will be allowed to enter the lab prior to 9 a.m., regardless of whether or not the staff is present. For your safety and convenience, a campus telephone is located in the control room. Please feel free to use this phone for your on-campus calls or if you need public safety assistance. Please keep security in mind at all times. Our equipment cannot be replaced. Equipment may be used by students currently enrolled in the department's production courses for the sole purpose of completing course requirements. Equipment will not be made available to students who abuse the facilities or violate the rules, regulations, and policies. Unauthorized visitors are not allowed in the lab at any time. Robert, get him out of here. Please report any unknown persons in the lab area to, a, to the lab staff, or you may see if you could assist them. The maintenance office is generally off limits unless you're reporting a problem or checking out equipment. All equipment will be accounted for at all times and you will be responsible for any equipment you use. This facility is equipped with an alarm system which is directly connected to the University Police Department. Never ask anyone who does not have the alarm code to let you in. Now that you've heard the rules, let's take a tour of the facilities. Since we're in the studio, let's begin with something that's over everyone's head the catwalk. The access door is located on the first floor, so come on up. In order to gain access to the catwalk, you'll first need to obtain the wrench key from the lab staff. Once you've got the wrench key, you'll come up to the first floor and unlock the door. Once the door is opened, you'll want to use extreme caution when entering the catwalk. The safety chains are here for your protection. Make sure when working on the catwalk that you always wear closed-toed shoes and never under any circumstances are high heels permitted. Remember that you can be seen from below, so be aware when you are dressed in loose shorts, a dress, or a skirt. Never throw anything up to or down from the catwalk. Once you've, you've completed your work on the catwalk, what you'll want to do is make sure and reattach the safety chains. Once the safety chains have been reattached, you'll go ahead and come out and you'll want to lock the door. 
Once you've checked and you know the door is secure, you can go ahead and head back down to the lab. Make sure to turn the key in to the lab assistant. Make sure you take the opportunity to learn about lighting. Remember, if you don't get your hands on the instruments, you won't learn how to use them. The instruments used in the lab are 1K Fresnels, which is this light right here, and we also have two 2K soft lights. Remember when handling the lighting instruments, always use the gloves that are provided by the staff. The heat from the instruments can burn the skin in a matter of seconds. Over here is the light panel. The outlets are numbered so that you can read them from the floor. Another way to reach lights used in the studio is by using a studio ladder. There are a few rules that you will need to be aware of before you use this ladder. You must never climb the ladder without assistance. Always have someone spot for you while on it. Never attempt to move the ladder while someone is on it. It will fall over. Ah! And always watch for hanging lights. Hitting an instrument can cause excessive damage. And never attempt to use the ladder as access to the catwalk. And that's it for the ladder, so let's move on to the cameras. You will learn more about cameras at a later time, so for now I'm just going to go over the basics. First, we'll put on a headset. These allow the director to communicate instructions to the camera operator. Hey Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my head. Next, we'll unlock the dolly. The pan. And tilt knobs. Now we're able to move the camera. Attached to the left handle is the focus control. The right side has the zoom control. Make sure that you secure the pan and tilt knobs before you walk away. Failure to do so may cause extensive damage to the equipment, particularly the camera with the teleprompter. Because of the added weight, the camera is more likely to fall forward and cause damage. So remember to lock down the camera before you walk away. Never touch the glass on the cameras. If they need cleaning, ask the lab staff for assistance. When you begin shooting in the studio, you will find that the floor is covered with cables. There are camera cables, microphone cables, and power cables that run across the floor. Never walk on the cables. The weight will damage the delicate wires inside. As for microphones, we have a few different types for students to use in their productions, and you will learn more about those in the coming weeks. There are two important rules when working with any microphones. They are never tap on a mic and never ever blow in the mic. They are delicate and this will cause damage. Another delicate item to discuss is the drapes. Please use extreme caution and never lean anything on them. Be careful when pulling them that they don't snag on anything, including the catwalk. They are very expensive and cannot be replaced. Before we finish our studio tour, I'd like to draw your attention to the condition of it. When you shoot your projects, we encourage you to bring in props to dress up the production. However, you must allow enough time in your schedule to strike your set.
If you are clear on that, we can proceed into the control room. Welcome to the control room. This is where all the production magic takes place. As you'll notice, there are several spots in the control room with a lot of equipment. So let's go through it briefly so that I can explain to you what each position is responsible for doing. First, we've got the audio board. And the person who operates the audio board is responsible for all of the sound on the production. Following the audio board, we've got the teleprompter operator. The teleprompter operator runs the teleprompter that's on the camera in the studio. This person's really important to the talent. Well, today I'm doing the teleprompter. After the teleprompter operator, we've got the switcher. Now they call this position the switcher because it's this person's job to switch shots for the director from one camera to another. Right next to the switcher operator is the director. The director has the ability to see all of the monitors in front of them and then ask for the shot it is that they're looking for. Seated next to the director is the assistant director. It's the assistant director's responsibility to time out the production. They'll actually count the show in and count the show out, um, keeping everybody on track. Finally, we've got the Chiron operator or the character generator. The character generator it is responsible for making the graphics that go on screen. Now, this was just a brief overview of the control room. And in the coming weeks, you will have an opportunity to work at each of the positions. But first, we need to go over the rules. Most importantly, there is no food or drink allowed in the lab. If you do leave food or drink in the lab, the lab assistants have been instructed to throw that away. If there's any technical difficulties that you're experiencing, those should be reported immediately to the lab technician. Do not attempt to make adjustments to the equipment on your own. Next, there's absolutely no sitting or leaning on the racks, as they will be damaged. This also includes the teleprompter desk and the audio table as well. Do not place your books, backpacks, or any other personal items on these countertops. Make sure to use only approved videotapes when doing your production here at the college, as poor quality videotapes can damage the equipment and compromise the outcome of your production. Well, that's our rules and we're sticking to them. I hope you enjoy the lab as much as I did during the production courses. And remember, this equipment is here for you to use, so get your hands on it and really learn it. Don't expect others to take care of things for you and have a good time here in the production lab.